Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of our Getting Started with Navrisk series. We've created this series of videos to help you set up the basic features within your new Navrisk platform. So in this episode, we'll be covering the first basic features of Navrisk, and that is creating a client and of course adding a device. So to create a new client, what we're going to do is click on the Settings tab here. We're going to scroll down to the bottom, we're going to click on Clients and Licensing. Now in the top right hand corner there we've got new clients so we're going to click on that and what's going to pop up is, an, is a new pop up box where we can choose to create an MSP client or a standard client. So for this example I'm going to create a new MSP client. So now we're going to fill in the details for the new client, so the client's name. Um, we're also going to make sure that we choose the correct time zone for where the client is, that's important to do in Navrisk. Uh, then we just go ahead and save those details. So the next pop up is of course for the client's primary point of contact. You can create a, a secondary point of contact as well, but I think for this one just create the primary. So of course first name, last name, and uh, the contact's email address as well. Once we enter those in, again we'll just save the changes and that's that, that's the client created. So as you start adding clients into Navrisk, you're going to accumulate quite a list. So these are all the clients that I have for my test site. Uh, if we click on the green edit arrow there, uh, you can see that these are the actual details, um, editable details of the client. Uh, so you can come in and update any, any details that you need for that. So now we're going to go over to devices. Under this tab, we're going to create a new device. So we're going to make sure we choose the correct client first. So there's my test client. And we're going to go and click on the new device button there. Cool, okay, so within this pop-up box, you can see that we've actually got uh, quite a few images here. We've got Microsoft, we've got Apple, uh, Linux, we've got SNMP devices, and you can also create a new passive device. But for this exercise, we're just going to go and uh, click on the, the Windows image, and we're going to download that image to our PC. So you can choose preferred network controller to download the image from. Now a network controller is what your device is actually going to connect to. So like I said, simply select the preferred network controller and just click on download agent. Cool, so as you can see in the left hand corner there my agent's finished downloading. We're going to click on that I'm just going to press any button and that's going to install the Navrisk agent on my device and you can see straight away my device has popped up in Navrisk there. So there we go, we have successfully created a new client in Navrisk and we have successfully added in a Windows device. Now in the next episode we'll be looking at the basic aspects of monitoring and alerting using the Navrisk platform. See you later, guys.